bicycles. All right. Well, welcome. Uh, we have three bills before us today, and the first is introductory number 749, sponsored at the request of the administration by Council Member Recchia, who is here looking very European. I think that's a fair ways to phrase it. I didn't, I didn't see this on my screen. A lot more elegant than Otto or me. Introductory number 749 exceeds, extends the date for the submission of the preliminary budget to the City Council uh, to February 2nd and extends the date for the submission of the preliminary management report to the City Council to February 16th. Introductory number 749 also makes corresponding adjustments for the other charter mandated actions required during the preliminary budget process. This action is necessary so that the City can more fully assess its fiscal outlook before submitting the primary budget. And I would like to thank the Office of Management and Budget and my Office of Legislative, City Legislative Affairs for their work in this bill. I'd also like to th thank the City Council for approving this legislation. We are now going to hear for the next hour and a half from a member of the City Council <laughs> representing the EU. No, I, I I'm the budget extender, Mr. Mayor. It's my pleasure to help the uh, administration out to work with the administration. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Mr. Otto? No, I have nothing to say. Nothing to say? This is the first time ever. I'm, saving, you... my, I'm saving my comments for uh, Way to go. Uh, would anybody like to add anything? I'll sign the bill. The second bill before me, us today is introductory number 567A, sponsored by Council Members Otto, who's here with us today, Cabrera, Drum, Fiddler, Garodnik, Gentili, Mealy, Mendez, Palma, Sanders, Chin, Kalaus, Kozlaus, Koslowitz, uh, Van Bremer, Nelson, Rose, Rodriguez, Jackson, Arroyo, Van, Lappin, Vaca, uh, Brewer, Vallone, uh, uh, Weprin, Levin, Barron, Eugenie, Gennaro, Greenfield, uh, Lander, Crowley, Capel, Mark Viverito, Recchia, he's again here, Halloran, Koo, uh, Ulrich, Ignacio, and Wills. Introductory number 567A requires the Department of Transportation to post on its website information relating to the conditions of New York City streets. This legislation requires the Department of Transportation to post on its website the current rating for city streets as well as when sketches of those stretches of those streets will last resurfaced or receive capital improvements. By January 31st, 2013, the information must be searchable by city block. I've always said that unless you can measure a problem, you can't manage it. In that light, the Department of Transportation street rating system is a critical tool in our efforts to keep New York City streets, street networks in a state of good repair. Working with the bill's sponsor, Majority Leader Otto, DOT has already made available online a map with street ratings and paving date information. By sharing this data with the broad public, the department is taking a great step forward towards empowering New Yorkers to engage in the department's great work and to track their progress in improving the condition of our city streets. Thanks to the repaving of more than 1,000 lane miles and the filling of more than 400,000 potholes last fiscal year, 72% of all streets boast DOT's highest rating. And through the department's efforts, we're confident those numbers will continue to improve in the years ahead, particularly if we don't have any snow. And I would like to thank uh, Transportation Commissioner Jeanette Sedekan and her staff for their work on this legislation along with our Office of City Legislative Affairs. The bill came about as the result of great collaboration between Commissioner Sedekan, Minority Leader Otto, Transportation Chair Vaca, and Speaker Quinn. And so I would also like to thank those individuals as well as the entire council for approving this legislation. Uh, and now we'll hear from uh, Commissioner. Great. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It is a great day that we've got intro 567A uh, passed, and so New Yorkers now have a better way of finding out about the condition of city streets. So you can go to the Tumblr, uh, you can go to the dailypothole.tumblr, you can go to nyc.gov, and you can find out what the condition 
uh, of your streets are, when it was last paved, uh, and what the rating is. And so that is thanks, I, I have to say, to the creativity and the perseverance of Council Member Otto, who was really a terrific partner for us I in this. I phrased it inside as a pain in the rear. Perseverance, <laughs> perseverance, uh, I think was the word. Maybe uh, it was it's lost a, in translation. Uh, but uh, he's been really terrific uh, to work with on that, and I think it's, it's, it's a great day. Uh, as the mayor pointed out, uh, it will be searchable by block going forward. Right now, you can go to the map and drill down uh, onto your city street. But uh, we continue to work uh, with the council to find better ways to uh, improve the data that we put out there. And it, it's really uh, thanks to uh, Council Member Otto uh, that we're here today. So um, I want to thank him and his fellow colleagues at the council for their work there. And Mr. Mayor. Thank you, thank you Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, the administration often talks about technology and transparency. Just down day? And, uh, <laughs> All black day. Hey, Robert. Hey. Hey, Ruben. The, uh, the administration, like, as I was saying, the administration <laughs> often talks about uh, technology and transparency, and the council always talks about engaging the public, and I think we marry those concepts with this bill. Um, and I just want to express my appreciation to uh, the Department of Transportation um, Commissioner Sadiq Khan and uh, David Wallach for their help in, uh, in reaching an agreement. What this bill is designed to do is to allow you as New Yorkers to go see what DOT thinks of your street, the rating, and if you disagree, uh, reach out to us, let us know. Um, every year, Commissioner Sadiq Khan fights hard for more capital money to pave more roads. We want to make sure that uh, those precious resources are targeted at the right streets, and that's what this bill uh, is at its core. So I'm appreciative of all the cooperation and the support in the council and the administration. Great. Uh, anybody else like to add anything? Uh, I will sign the bill. Anybody want to add anything? What is the status of 79th Street? Do you have a question for any call? The final bill before us today is introductory number 585A, sponsored by Council Members Recchia, Fidla, Gentile, Koslowitz, Rose, Williams, Arroyo, Lappin, Jackson, Brewer, Mark Viverito, Landovan, Van Bremer, Levin, Barron, Capel, Rodriguez, Chin, Eugenie, Gennaro, Ulrich, Kuh, and Wills. Introductory number 585A regulates volatile, orga volatile organic compounds, otherwise known as VOCs, in carpets carpet cushions, and carpet adhesives. Uh, some VOCs are known to cause chronic health issues, including nausea, irritation in the eyes, nose, and throat, and can cause damage to both the kidney and the liver. By regulating the types of carpet that are sold and installed within the city, we're able to keep New Yorkers safe from these harmful chemicals. These regulations will be enforced by the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, as well as the Department of Consumer Affairs, through penalties ranging from $250 to $500. It is important that we approach these penalties in a balanced way, which is why we have allowed for an affirmation defense for laborers who have no ownership or control of a business that violates this legislation. This bill continues our administration's work to provide a healthy, safe work and home environment for all New Yorkers. The Green Codes Task Force, convened by Speaker Quinn and I, conducted an extensive analysis of green building codes in New York City. The recommendations and policy proposals from this task force were integral to the formation of this legislation. And I'd like to thank Director of Long-Term Planning and Sustainability, David Bragdon, who was here someplace. Uh, yeah, you were. He came up from over there. Uh, Buildings Commissioner Robert Lamandry, Consumer Affairs Commissioner Jonathan Mintz, and Health Commissioner Thomas Farley and their staff for their work on this bill, along with my Office of City Legislative Affairs. I'd also like to thank, thank Speaker Quinn and the Council for approving this legislation, as well as our partners on the Green Codes Task Force. Uh, David Bragman, would you like to say something? Sure. Thank you. So Council Member Otto's made sure we have good pavement outside a few minutes ago. Council Member Recchia says good carpet inside. <laughs> so we've got the, uh, got the earth covered. Thank you, Council Member Recchia, for your leadership on this. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, David, thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you for signing this bill. Uh, this was brought to my attention. There was a, 
a child in my district whose parents came to my office because they needed help uh, with getting coverage. And one thing led to another, and we found out, we spoke to the doctor who was working with this family about why this young kid was getting blown, uh, bloody nose and so forth, his health condition. And the doctor was telling me he believes it's because of carpet in the house. And one thing found out led to another that in this building, there was many apartments with the same carpeting and children all had some type of condition. And this is how this all came about. We did a lot of research into this and I just want to thank the mayor for signing this because this is really going to help uh, children who are with these types of conditions like the mayor spoke about earlier. But also, uh, a majority of carpets made in the United States already meet this requirement. It's for those carpets that are made outside of the United States that do not meet these requirements. I think it's going to bring notice. And to buy carpets with the green label is very important today. Thank you. Anybody like to add anything? If not, I'll sign the bill.